Hi, betting experts. On Friday, September the 29th, we're off to Newmarket HQ, a cracking day of racing, group races and some fascinating handicaps and a couple of warm maidens to learn a lot for the future, probably for next season. We start off with our betting expert daily nap, sponsored by Bet365. This goes in the 225, the Princess Royale Albasti Equiwell Dubai Stakes, one mile four, group three for fillies and mares, a class one for three-year-olds and upwards, over £45,000 to the winner. And I like the claims here of Voodoo queen of Roger Varian. Now this one, I think the main thing to say is freshness at this stage of the season counts for plenty and Voodoo Queen's only had three runs uh, and has been off 96 days before uh, this return to the fray. I think she's been kept fresh for this. She comes from a yard going particularly well at the moment. Varian, five winners in the last 14 days and she's won three of her nine career starts three times in the frame. I think she needed her first run of the season at Goodwood in May on ground that was probably too soft for her. Then ran really well at York in a group three behind River of Stars and then back to her very best at Pontefract showing a terrific attitude under pressure having a bit of a rough trip as well over this one mile four furlong trip but very strong up the final climb to see off one evening ridden by David Egan there he's back in the saddle this afternoon I think he'll be positive on her um, I think she's a galloper rather than the quickener I think the wide open spaces of Newmarket will definitely suit her hopefully he'll send her for home some way out and she'll keep on pulling out more I think there's more to come from her this season our betting expert value angle selection sponsored by Bet365 goes in the three o'clock it's the Albasti Equiwell Dubai Rockfell Stakes a seven furlong Phillies Group 2 Class 1 for two year olds only £60,000 to the winner some very interesting runners none more so than spiritual of John and Thady Gosden now this filly was thought to need the run on her debut at Leicester. They wouldn't have too many nine to one first time out winner the Gosdens. And if you watch the run back, she was in the first time hood and she didn't settle at all, pulling for three quarters of the race. And you're thinking, well, she's bound to drop away. I think the online online layers in running were clicking away at the pink button to lay her, but she quickened up really smartly, considering that the ground was on the softer side of good and she hadn't really settled. And I think there's loads more to come from her as she gathers more racing experience and ho- hopefully the stronger pace in this group too will help her settle in the early stages. She stays at seven furlongs. She's got better ground here under Kieran Schumacher, and I think that'll suit her. She's a very interesting filly. Hopefully she'll drop the bit and quicken through late in this much better race. Best of luck on Friday, betting experts, and please remember to like and comment on all of our YouTube videos. Mm-hmm.